on the tarmac and just been ripped across the road. There are no deep section rims in there, I can tell you today. The reports before the start of the race were an uh, expectation of gusts of up to 90 kilometers an hour. And that, well, when riders are suddenly, and look at the way it has caused all sorts of carnage in the group. So the bunch having got itself back together after that last uh, foray or that last uh, flurry of echelon action is once again split to bits a lot of riders not liking this at all another rider in the ditch here falling off uh, one of the cannondale riders we've already seen van bow on the deck riders absolutely all over the place and you can just see the riders being buffeted the whole time by this wind coming from the left hand side mark cavendish up right towards the front but again if we get this buffet of wind across touch of wheels bang they could all come down so um it's really dangerous conditions out here today Luca Padini's made his way to the front. We saw him at the back a little while earlier, but I think he's realized that uh, the only way to stay safe uh, in this one is to go to the front and absolutely drive it as best you can. Just to staying on your bike is an achievement here. We well, can just see Terstra, the, the safest place to be is at the front because if you get buffeted, um, you've not got any kind of wheels overlapping in front of you. So a lot of riders, I feel for a lot of riders on this. I've, I've been here, I've done this, and uh, Edvard Bosenhagen not really liking this uh, at all former winner of this race now riding for MTN Quebec so a lot of riders just uh, not liking these conditions one bit yeah and they are slightly deep section wheels on Edval Bosenhagen as pointed out by uh, Marty GT80 there are uh, several riders in there with uh, deep section perhaps not as deep as they would normally ride but I think anything beyond box section Aluminium is this uh, is absolutely carnage I, I can't remember we see cross winds in the race in Belgium but I've never I've been training and uh, this has happened and I've actually been blown off the road uh, over the top of the Yaskabel by a, 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 a huge uh, bit of wind off the Atlantic but I've never seen a race like this where the riders have been blown pretty much off their bikes onto the side verges. Geraint Thomas sitting on the left hand side of the group at the moment must be feeling very uh, nervous indeed. Another nervous man is Arno Damar, one of the uh, pre-race favourites, second into Evelgem 12 months ago but now finds himself on one of the chasing one of the chasing echelons you know in a way it might be easier to be in one of the chasing groups as well because they're smaller because the fight to try and stay in this lead group is proving very very uh, demanding for lots of the riders and see the way the uh, professional riders realize that once they've uh, they haven't uh, managed to make the front group they immediately try and form an echelon and then one or two riders trying to uh, trying to jump across it's absolutely mental out there at the moment i think is the only way to describe it it's not easy for anybody and you can just see the buffets of winds and they're coming over, touch of the wheels, riders have been on the deck and there's a lot of nerves in here and you know we get some of these conditions what we've seen in the, the Tour of Qatar, uh, some riders been blown off the, uh, the roads but it's uh, in dangerous conditions, just coming to the front is the border team, a rider on the front now, third in the uh, Commonwealth Games last year, Scott Thwaite from Yorkshire. Peter Sagan just comes to the front but again, bang, he gets buffeted, leaning into this wind. This is really, really dangerous for all these riders. I can't say that more. You can just see um, just behind as well, Stannard's almost been blown off. So, Well, if a guy like Stannard is struggling to keep his bike upright, you know it's windy out there because he's one of the biggest, strongest riders in World Tour racing at the moment. Fantastic to see Scott Thwaites doing so well at the moment. He's a man in, in great form. I actually have him marked on my sheet as, uh, as a little outside chance, outside bet for victory this afternoon clearly reveling in the conditions such as it's possible to do and riders being jettisoned in ones and twos Trek factory racing Danny van Poppel will definitely have a chance if he makes it to Evelgem again at the moment well it's a crisis point for him you just see this is a long long straight road and uh, you know still a few kilometers towards the end of it the riders at the front still prepared to get involved with the race difficult conditions for everybody i think everybody just uh, crossing their fingers and hoping they get over this uh, really bad section of uh, windy road here long straight road nobody's squeezing the echelon either because everybody needs as much room as possible and you need as much tro many troops as you can possibly get in there for argon of two riders Van Mark, visible there on the center of your screen in the yellow uh, 
of Lara Yamba. We've not even hit the climbs yet. We've still got uh, nine climbs in this race. Still a long way to go. You know, this race, 240 kilometres or 39, and, uh, you know, still 124 kilometres to go, and we're getting this set van marked towards the front now, just riders all over the place, and trying to stay as stay safe as possible, but in these conditions, it's very, very difficult. And, of course, there's been quite a lot of talk recently, Brian, about uh, the, a definition. Another problem here. Looks like Mark Cavendish again. Oh, well, that is difficult moments for Mark Cavendish. Wheel puncture. Yeah, it's all happening for him. Stan Vandenberg awaits back with the uh, Manx missile, who watches as another group of riders rolls past. Well, Cavendish seems to have uh, got himself going again. Uh, he's on his own for the next little while. Well, he's had a puncture. He's been on the ditch. And uh, not the best of days for Mark Cavendish. Well, if Mark Cavendish comes out with the win this afternoon, it's going to be one of the greatest of his career because the conditions are absolutely hellish out there. But he's managing to uh, fight and survive. He's in the cars. Probably the safest.